So today's plan for the day is this bucket of muck. So this bucket of muck, like all buckets of muck, can actually be surprising in the amount of life that is in here. Um, and the reason we keep this specific bucket of muck around is for Utricularia. So there are terrestrial Utricularia and there are aquatic Utricularia. I'll give you one guess which one this is. You guessed wrong, it's aquatic. These guys just free float in mucky ponds on almost every continent in the world. They could get tangled up in birds' feet and move around to all kinds of areas. So it's one of those plants that is so widely dispersed, it's really hard to know even where it came from. This one specifically I'm talking about is Utricularia gibba. It has really beautiful little yellow flowers, just like that there. And bladderworts are some of the more interesting muck that you'll find in a bucket of muck. Let's see if I can find any bladders on there. I don't know if I can. There's very, oh, here we go. Those little dark spheres on my fingers are actually little suction traps that are capable of sucking up microscopic prey at one five thousandth of a second. It's the smallest suction mechanism known to man, both in the natural world and anything that we can make. And it's also insanely strong, sucking things in at 120 G and de-accelerating them at 90 G. So the tiny little water daphnia that they sometimes catch will just be obliterated on the inside of the trap. These are um, free floating stems because bladderworts have no true leaves and no roots. So it's just all free, free floating stems with little <clears throat> modified bladder traps that hang off the side. And any tiny thread of this can become its own mat of bladder warts. And so if I stuck this in the tray of water of any of my other carnivorous plants, it'll fill it all up. If you put a little peat moss in there, it's a good idea because they do like the muck. And then you can be surprised with beautiful little yellow flowers coming up out of your trays in the spring and summer. Utricularia gibba, not just muck. <laughs>